Hello. Yeah! Welcome back to the best show on the internet that reviews music on a weekly basis, sometimes old, sometimes new. Today we're here with a new album. My name is, I always want to have a funny name and don't think of it until I start <laughs> saying the sentence. Yeah. My name is the... Mm. Yeah, that's it. That's your name. Yes. <laughs> the, mm. yeah. <laughs> My name's My House. Today we're here to review a brand new album, but before we get to that, what have you been listening to over the last week, you Grey's Need tool? I know. I've been crawling around after my hamster. <laughs> <laughs> what have I been listening to? Uh, weirdly enough, nothing new, but I've been re-listening to that Kesha album. Oh yeah? yeah. You've said that a few times. <laughs> so yeah, you're really digging Kesha, aren't you? Yeah, while I'm out doing deliveries, it's a good... I never thought I'd say this, but it's good driving music. Right. Because it's nice. I don't know, it's repetitive and kind of has like a nice driving beat to some of the songs. What have you been listening to? Uh, highlight of the past week, there's been a few that's been really good. Um, the first one that comes to mind, Funkadelic, Maggot Brain. Oh, have you listened to that now? Yeah, yeah, that came up and it was just really, really good. And I hadn't heard of the guitarist's name before, but it feels, especially from the track Maggot Brain, it should be one where he's kind of frequently on like best guitarist of all time lists. Because that's. His name? Can't remember. Oh. Uh, the only person I know out of those. <laughs> I want to say Dennis or Derek or something. He's George like Clinton. Well, I think might he be might him. be the singer. I don't know. I just know he's in those bands. But weirdly enough, I was watching a tear list with that Anthony Fantano. Mm. And um, there was like a bunch of great albums on there, like famous albums, and he chose Maggot Brain yeah. out of all of them. Yeah, it was really, really good. You should give it a listen. Have you heard it before? No. No. Is that a 10 album for you? It was a 9. Because it was bookended by fantastic songs with only great songs in the middle. Mm. So... <laughs> So I couldn't it's say a weird it was scale, fantastic yeah. and great. Yeah, so <laughs> I couldn't say it was perfect, but it was close to. <laughs> what makes a perfect album? Some albums are perfect. To an album book ended by fantastic songs with only great songs in the middle. It's not perfect. To me, that sounds great. If it was fantastic from front yeah. to back, so fantastic's better than great. Yeah, of course, fantastic's better than great. I would have said great's better. I'd rather be great than fantastic. Settle this argument in the <laughs> comments. Would you rather be fantastic or would you rather be great? This week, we have been listening to the new album by the Japanese house, which is called... In the end, it always does. <laughs> Any preconceptions of the Japanese house? I'd only heard one song by them, which is on this album, Boyhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's like just after we'd listened to the Boy Genius album. I think quite a lot of this stuff was suggested to me. I can see why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah I'd heard that and I, I did like that song, but because I was listening to so much other stuff like that, it didn't. I didn't listen to anything more. I mm-hmm. thought this is an overload. Yeah, yeah. how about Burn you? yourself out yeah. with it. <laughs> no preconceptions at all, because when we were looking at what album to listen to this week, and you said, "Oh, the Japanese house is supposed to be pretty good." I hadn't ever heard of it before, mm. so I couldn't say any preconceptions because I had just never come across this band before. Same. Apart so, from that one song. Yeah, like all I w- expected going into it was you said it's supposed to be a bit similar to Boy Genius. Mm. So minimal preconceptions, which only came about like a day before actually listening. Yeah. So, yeah. So what did you make of the album? Not a lot. You know. To be fair. I mean, it was okay, but none of the tracks have really stuck with me. Like, they didn't have any of the rockiest stuff that Boy Genius have. I wouldn't say the throwaway, I just don't remember any of the songs. Okay. Just, like, little bits stick in my mind, like, Boyhood, I like. And the... I don't know what you even call it, like... The rhythm of... Like, the music of Friends. Hmm. Like, it's kind of... I don't know how to describe it. It sounds like quite a little happy bop i hate saying that but happy it is. bop yeah <laughs> hashtag happy bop <laughs> i disagree i quite liked it i enjoyed it quite a lot i liked how i can see the similarities between this and boy genius and that it's kind of subdued pop music for a lot of it mm. i liked that there was a bit more like electronic stuff going on in it which mm. there wasn't really in boy genius which is i guess where the differences start yeah it reminded me a little bit of Owl City back in the day. I don't know if Owl City's still going, but that kind of 
especially the softer Owl City songs, where it's all this electronic stuff and samples in the background with this kind of softly singing voice over it and chill out music. I've only ever heard one song by them. No, you've not. Them. Haven't I? You've heard Fireflies. That's the one. You've heard... They did one with Carly Rae Jackson. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. It, good time. Yeah. Mm, I might have heard two. Yeah, you might have heard two. <laughs> so, yeah, I quite enjoyed the electronic sounds into it as well. Some of the beats in there, I think it's probably the happy bop that you were on about. It just it, it jumped out at me as like, oh, this is, this is pleasant. I like this. Mm. It's a lot more computery than Boy Genius, which is more... More analogue, isn't it? Maybe? Yeah, it's more analogue. That's what I was the word I was trying to find. But I like that difference. Not to say that it's better or worse, but I just like the difference of it. Yeah. I did like some of the lyrics in it, like, sad to breathe. Mm. I I can't remember the exact lyrics, but it's something like, it's sad to breathe the air when you're not here or something. Yeah, I think it is that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did like the last track as well. Something of Joni Jones. Yeah, I can't remember the track name, but I do know the one you mean. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite a good ballad. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasant listen. It just didn't stick with me. Like there was, it probably isn't the right album. Like there's not going to be massive hooks in it. Like there's mm-hmm. not massive choruses because, like you say, it is subdued. Yeah. Pop. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it or something. Do you know if because I think the Japanese house is one person, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is she gay? Um. Yes, I want to say she is. Because there's songs on there which sounds like it's sung from a woman's perspective about a woman, and then that got me thinking. Is there a new genre that we're just not aware of, which is like gay pop? Because it sounds very similar to Boy Genius, mm. one, at least one of whom I'm aware is gay. Two of them. Two. Yeah. So is this what gay music is these days? <laughs> I don't know, but like when I was reading, well, listening to interviews with Boy Genius, and Phoebe Bridges said she'd been recommended albums that fit, like, she'd been recommended Julian Baker's album. And she resisted it for ages because she didn't want to be stereotyped as someone who just listens to queer... I can't remember what genre she said, but queer pop, shall we say. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there might be. Yeah. Because it's just... It was of note to me that it sounds like it's sung from a gay person's perspective and sounds very similar to a band that I know sings from a gay person's perspective. So, yeah. Yeah. New genre. Yeah. You heard it here first, or last. It's Moon on one of the tracks. M-U-N-A. So they're a queer band. All right. Um, so they're all gay as far as I know. Right. So yeah, that'd lean into that theory. There we go. Gay pop. Yeah. It's probably got a better name than that. Yeah. Definitely. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Queer pop. Yeah. Top three tracks on the album for you? Um, Boyhood. I think I've mentioned Friends and the last one, the Joni yeah. Jones one. Yeah. I didn't like the first track. I just found it too weird. Hmm. Spot Dog. I really like Spot Dog. <laughs> Touching Yourself was my favourite one. That's... like When you say there's no hooks, that's... Especially that song, I disagree, because the chorus of that has been stuck in my head quite a bit over the past week. Sad to Breathe, again, was a great song. And I think You Always Get What You Want was one that stood out for me that I really liked. And Friends as well. I'll give you four there, a bonus one. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't say there's any bad songs on the album. There's nothing that I disliked. I do understand when you say in it's like... You enjoyed it, but okay, moving on. It's not one that stuck around. I guess like the Kesha one for you. Yeah. I get what you mean by that. I think it's going to stick around a bit more for me than it might for you, but... Yeah, maybe it's one of those albums where you need to sit down and properly listen to it. Mm. Whereas I generally do other things while I'm listening to the music. Yeah, you might have something there. attention span. Yeah. (laughs) I usually, because I've got my big chunky headphones and I'll do something kind of mind-numbing on the PlayStation or something, some grinding session. God, that's... <laughs> and then have my headphones on so I'm more focused on the music. What mark? I would give it an eight. Okay, I'd give it a six. That's fair. Yeah. So seven out of ten overall, which would lead us to tell you this week that music is good, which I'm sure you'll be happy to hear after last week when it was bad. You're allowed to listen to music again now. Wasn't music good last week? No, it was bad last week. Wasn't it Extreme? No, Extreme was like three weeks ago or something. Really? You've got no sense of time. Extreme's already come out. Extreme's on the page. Oh, Portugal the Man. Forgot yeah. we even listened See? to that album. 
So yeah, Portugal the man wasn't great, but this week it is good. And now you can listen to music again. And once again, I'm right about something, you're wrong, and all is well in the world. Tune in with us next week when we'll be listening to this album that's at the top of the screen now. And yeah, in the meantime, before I forget, we're getting closer to 100 subscribers. I think we're on 77 now. Wow. Josie. Josie. Shout out to Josie, who's <laughs> given us some uh, questions that we might be doing in a Q&A when we get to 100. So yeah, any questions, chuck it down in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, have a great week. Enjoy listening to music and we'll see you on the flip side. Love you. Bye-bye. See you on the flip side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See you on the B side. We should start saying that. <laughs>